Hey Pisces, welcome to your tarot session. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna dive right into your reading. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, join the family. You guys get a reading every week, of course. And today, I'm gonna start as always by picking the general present moment energy. Where we're gonna be taking a deep dive into July. What has July? Um, in store for Pisces. What July has in store for Pisces. First, the general energy in the present moment. I feel like there's a little bit of confusion right now in the present moment, but clarity is on the way. July brings the gift of clarity. Okay, yeah, that's it. I felt like there was clearly a lack of clarity at the moment, something that you might be questioning actively, why? Why is it so hard for me to do X, Y, and Z? Why is it so complicated for me to be heard or to let go of something? The Seven of Swords, this is how the mind feels, but there's also something that was taken away from you or something that felt like it was yours but it was taken away give me one more card as general energy eight of swords so my feeling was right in the present moment there's something that you don't see but the thing is, with the Eight of Swords, this is one of the most transformational card connected to the mind. That's why it has become one of my favorite throughout the years, because I've lived it so many times. And now I know how beneficial it is. Again, this is the gift of clarity that comes naturally after a period of confusion. And I feel like it's external noise that's been confusing you. Again, the mind is about to transform. And when the blindfold comes off, yes, we can see clearly, but we can finally step out of this mental prison. And that's the important thing here. There's a story, a narrative that you've been entertaining in your mind or it's been living rent-free there. It's, it's not yours. It comes from external forces, external energies, two of swords. How connected are you to your body, Pisces, right now in the present moment? Because I feel like a lot is happening in the mind. A lot is happening in the nervous system. Again, it's a very loud time for you. People need you or people pressure you for certain things. And it might be very overwhelming emotionally. With the Ten of Cups, it's interesting how I feel like whatever has been taken from you, it's coming back in a very mysterious yet magical way. Two of Swords and Ten of Cups. So in the Two of Swords, we have another symbol of the blindfold. Again, it's something that you cannot see right now because the mind is too loud. There's something right in front of you that you're not necessarily avoiding, but you're not giving it the attention it requires. And it makes sense because, again, the loud noise, the external pressure... It keeps you in the position of the Seven of Swords. Like, okay, I have so many swords to handle, but still I'm looking back. I'm trying to understand why certain people did certain things. And I feel like it's a constant cycle of worry and of questions. Like, why? Why did it, this happen to me? Why does this person have to be this way? Or why am, why am I this way? 
And with the Ten of Cups, there's a completion that's happening. There's a chapter that is finally closing. And again, I believe that whatever was taken from you comes back tenfold here with the Ten of Cups. And this card speaks of presence always. If you see the symbol of a rainbow anywhere, really, it speaks of the present moment because when a rainbow appears in the sky, the world stops. You know, even if you, you've seen a thousand rainbows in your life, you're still going to look at it because it's so precious. It's so sweet and magical. And that's what's happening here. Finally, a chapter ends and you're probably getting the clarity that you needed to finally move on. But it's a lot. It's a lot. And I feel like in the present moment, you're already dealing with that. And for the first few days of July, it's going to be the first step in this new journey, really more clarity and new awareness about something the possibility the potential of something that's right in front of you or within you you know so the beginning of july really feels like your attention is outside of yourself and then it's redirected to you to the present moment look at that the world card is the ultimate last chapter of one of our stories we never look back when we go through the world card and that's why this card is so important because then there's so many possibilities we are ready to step in the fool card energy which is infinite possibilities it's the soul calling you're about to awaken to a new soul calling yeah queen of cups and your intuition has been guiding you there for a while. So chances are you felt something. There could have been a lot of confusion between, is this my ego or is this actually my intuition? Is this my stress, my anxiety, or is this a gut feeling? And I feel like for a while you've been following the warnings of your nervous system. And the pressure, the external pressure that's been louder and louder. With the Queen of Cups, we're opening up, we're taking the blindfold off, and we are diving into vulnerability, of course. But we're, we're getting out of the mind. We're honoring our feelings. We're tending to our feelings. And I think this is something that came through in your last reading. It's not because you identify certain feelings because you're able to sit with them that you need to do something about them. I feel like that adds to the pressure, to the very loud nervous system. Presence is constantly calling you in. Your heart is calling you back into presence always, always. But again, a lot of the times, your nervous system, your brain, your ego, your thoughts just take over because it's too much. So here with the Knight of Swords, of course, we're talking about focusing on our mental health, focusing on our connection to the mind, how we relate to our thought and how we take action sometimes listening to our loudest critique. Our loudest, um, the strongest impulse. There's no need to take action on that right now. But for some reason, I feel like you've been fighting against, I don't know, either your own inner critique or time, I'm sensing. It feels like someone is rushing you to do something sooner. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like there's so much pressure. And it just makes you want to isolate more. It just makes you want to push them away. Block them. You don't want to be pressured. And I really feel like you should not be pressured at this time. 
because this soul journey that you are on, it's more important than any than any other invitation at this time. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So I felt it. Something comes back. And it feels 10 times bigger than what you felt like you lost in the past or Maybe you called in something, you manifested something, and it feels so much bigger than what you dare ask for. It's a gift. Anytime you see the ace, the symbol of the hand is very important. It's a gift, but it's also an exchange. And here, energy is your currency. So you're about to start investing your energy in very different ways in new circumstances, new potential are opening and flourishing for you. And you're ready. That's why the King of Pentacles is here. And it's interesting how we have the Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles. I just want to honor that if there is someone that you miss that is an earth sign or has a lot of earth in their chart, or someone that feels like home, if they're not an earth sign, they could definitely feel like home. There's something here, the potential for a reunion, the potential for a new offer, and for growth at the end of the day. Again, your focus is shifting, and you're able to see, you're able to receive an important offer, an important invitation. Something that has the potential to expand and grow with you. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the High Priest, the Knight of Pentacles also uh, came in. So I'm going to honor that for sure. There's something connected to not only your values, but really the foundation of your life and how you've always known how to follow your intuition. You were born intuitive, you are the most intuitive sign of the zodiac, but I feel like certain times in the recent past, you weren't able to honor the quiet voice of your intuition. There was so many things adding and making it more difficult for you to follow your gut around something. Again, I feel like you were pressured into making a decision or pressured into quote unquote doing what's right. And at the end of the day, it wasn't another person's decision to make. So it's like you're given the chance here to finally do what's right for you what's truly aligned with your value system and with the 10 of pentacles again like another 10 again something comes back in your life and it is 10 times bigger than what you hope for i'm going to use another tarot deck and i want to dive deeper into this 10 of cups 10 of pentacles there's a lot of earth and water energy in your reading here the earth and water energy keeps on mirroring each other. So either you have a very complex relationship with an earth sign or with the earth aspect in your own astrological chart. Or there's a shadow also. There could be some type of shadow work happening here. You don't want to fight anymore. I don't know. I feel like something has been very complicated for you, Pisces, and you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to, again, waste your currency in that way, your energy. So tell me what's happening here. What's the connection between the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups for Pisces? Six of Cups. So, of course, healing, healing. Oh... Justice card. Healing ancestral runes. Healing your relationship with your inner child, with your past. And with the justice card, everyone wins because everyone moves in alignment with their values, with what they believe and what they love, what they their heart wants. 
peace. Peace is about to be restored in your life, Pisces. And it feels so good just saying it out loud. And this message that I kept getting of whatever was taken from you comes back tenfold. You know, the justice is my card for that always. You deserve more. You deserve that. I think you know it, but for a moment, you kind of got lost in, in the stress, in the pressure of life. I don't know if you forgot who you are and how special Pisces are, how powerful they are. And that can scare a lot of people off. And you could even scare yourself sometimes because of your own depth, your own magic, your own power. Something is shifting and you can finally reestablish your power in a group of people, in a relationship. For some of you at work, but at the end of the day, it's, it's in your own life. It's like, you're back. This is what it feels like. It feels like a Pisces is just saying, I'm back. Okay, we have, yeah, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Swords again. And the Nine of Pentacles. I'm back. Two of Swords is Moon in Libra. So the scale is finally shifting. And that's the thing. When we're trying to find balance, balance in our lives and our relationship, we can only gauge. We have to make mistakes. But it's not in the moment making those mistakes that we're being compassionate to ourselves. It's when we're able to take a step back, to have a 360 vision, to rethink something, reframe something and say, okay, now I have so much more compassion for my old self. That's why the Six of Cups came through. That's why the Seven of Swords is here in your general energy and you're just looking back because you're transforming your perspective about who you were in that situation when it comes to whatever felt taken away from you you're able to see yourself through a different lens you're able to again have a 360 vision of something that you once consider it, it's either good or bad and now there's more depth it's more complex than that and it's deeper than what you thought it's deeper than what you gave yourself permission to experience pisces because I feel like, again, you were trapped in a mental prison for a very long time. You wanted to protect yourself. And the two of swords not only is Libra energy, but again, moon energy. So we're talking about cycles. We're talking about moody energy. The moon changes sign every two and a half days or something like that. It's just, it constantly change mood and vibe and energy. And that's what happened with you. It feels like you were constantly changing your mind about something or someone because you wanted to protect yourself. It was too scary to fully let go, to fully open your heart. So I feel like in the month of July, you're able to show yourself, your present self, your past self, even your future self, more compassion. And the Nine of Pentacles is a card of maturity. Maturity is when we are able to make decisions considering our future selves. This is what you're doing right now. This Ace of Wands, this Ace of Pentacles, whatever you're initiating, whatever you're saying yes to, you're ready. It feels like your future self is celebrating you right now. I'm hearing what I always hear when I'm Channeling messages like that. She reaches out to she, reaches out to she. Your old self reaches out to your present self, reaches out to your future self. There's something here about the three of them aligning. And I say she, but it's not about gender. It's an energy. It's something that I feel. So while those three versions of you are aligning in that way and you are making very mature decisions considering your future self, you're also aligning with another person. So if that speaks to you, I want to extend the reading a little bit and just pick more cards about this person. I kind of want to know why am I feeling like there is a special connection for Pisces 
regardless of gender, this King of Pentacles feels like your person. Yeah, I have those bombs. I have to honor that. Tell me more about this person, this connection, this relationship for Pisces. Give me a storyline. Give me answers. Okay, High Priestess is here again. So we have two, 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 two. Ten, ten. Ace, ace. Okay, tell me more. High Priestess. Seven of Wands. Wow. Okay. High Priestess is here two times. And I ask, what about this connection? I want to know what happened. I want to understand the timeline. I want to understand the energy. There's a clear fight here with someone. Someone who you are intuitively connected to. You've always been and you will always be. And I feel like sometimes it might create a little bit of anger because... Even if you try to push them away or if they try to push you away, block you, whatever happened in this fight or in this um, conflict, I don't know. At the end of the day, you both know that this connection is a forever thing. You are spiritually connected to them. The thing is that there's a lot of projection happening because this person is... Reflecting a lot of your shadow and also reflecting a lot of your own beauty. And that is very conflicting for both of you. That's the thing. I don't know if there's jealousy here on both sides or just envy. There's also love intertwining this. There could be very passionate arguments and just not knowing how to address certain things. And again... I said it earlier, sometimes we identify, we're able to identify certain feelings like raw emotions. Let's say jealousy, envy, anger, whatever it is. But we don't know what to do with those feelings and that's what happens here. There's so much buildup of raw emotions. It's so much easier to just build walls and push the other person away, block them, ignore them. But at the end of the day, it feels like someone is ready to do the hard work. Someone is ready to get uncomfortable. Again, the symbol of the blindfold is so important. It came in three times in your reading. Also, Justice card is here. In a lot of versions of the Justice card, there's the blindfold. So I just want to say again, it's like you're about to see the truth, to hear the truth, to see what's really happening here. And I think it's about to shift your perspective on something that you've been so fixed about, Pisces. It's okay. You know, this is one of your power. You are mutable water, which is probably the coolest thing like ever. I'm all fixed. My big three is fixed. I'm... I'm very passionate about like mutable signs and mutable water is like this wild river constantly moving, constantly shifting. You have the potential to change your mind, to change how you feel about certain things. When you give yourself the opportunity to take a step back and to trust into the universe here, you're definitely trusting the universe. And whatever was taken away comes back tenfold. Let me pick some Oracle cards for you, Pisces. I feel like I was supposed to wait, you know? Your, your reading was a little late, and I knew I wanted to do it. I just wanted to wait for the, the right moment. And I started recording this reading exactly at 11.11. 11, um, which is, it was just random, but I noticed it. And then I was like, yeah, there's something here that wants to come through. I felt like it was connected to the justice. I felt like it was connected to clarity. And it makes sense. Things have been very unclear for you in the past couple of years. And you're about to receive the gift of clarity. Look at that. The scale is here again. A new romantic cycle begins. So for some of you, yeah, it's romantic. But at the end of the day, this card can be for everyone. 
for relationships that are romantic or not. There's something here about reuniting, about finding more balance, but you can only gauge. It's not going to be perfect. This relationship is never going to be perfect because you can only gauge. You can only... Trust that they will do what's right and trust that you will be patient with them even if they make a mistake or at the end of the day there's enough love for this relationship to flourish in the future. Meditate and contemplate. So this is one of your cards and it's also connected to the high priestess. Again, sitting with the feelings, not doing anything about them, not acting on your strongest impulse, but giving yourself the time to digest something, to receive something. Because the aces are massive gifts. But are we ready to receive them? Are we ready to sit with the feelings that are coming up about receiving around saying yes to ourselves, saying yes to, again, our future self. This alignment that I felt is so powerful. It's like there's this moment in time of synchronicity where past, present, and future self is aligning kind of perfectly. And it feels like there's only a yes that's required from you. But it takes a lot of courage to say yes to ourselves and, again, to trust so this is going to be a big month for you in energy and emotions also, but you're leaving so much behind. So in the month of August, I feel like you're ready to start a brand new chapter. And I'm excited to see your reading next week. It's going to be coming out uh, probably Thursday. So you're going to have a second reading very soon. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to um, like and support. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye Pisces. Take care.